by the course management navigation and then under course tools we've got rubrics and it brings you to this page and I've already made one and you can see that we have a create and an import button huh import can I make rubrics elsewhere and then import them into blackboard and the answer is yes you can if I select this file however and then click export when I actually open the file well it looks like this so maybe stick to making your rubrics inside blackboard the other way to create a rubric is whenever you create a new assignment or edit an existing one right under grading and points possible we have the add rubric button and if I already have one I can select it from my list or I can create a new one from scratch and I can create from existing the good news is that if you create a new one right here it automatically saves this rubric once you hit submit so even if you change your mind and decide to not use it that rubric will still exist in your list for future use all right so add rubric we're going to create a new one from scratch bring up this window once again and we have our name and then a description of what this rubric will be measuring and below that we've got the rubric detail you'll see we have columns and also rows and each of these has a name and a drop down to the right which i can click on to delete the column or change the name we can do that for the side ones here as well so edit or delete row right now we are in the percent view and if you ever go above 100 percent you can click on the balance weights button down here but this will automatically redistribute your points so do be careful with this and you can also add a row add a column and you can do this as many times as you want to make this rubric as crazy as you want each of these text boxes is designed for a description of that criteria and you'll see that there is also a spell check box for each individual text area the default type is going to be percent which for most cases is, is going to be fine but you can also make this to no points so all you would do is just mark off on the rubric whatever you're going to evaluate and this way they still have the feedback you want to give them on their score but there is no grade attached to the rubric itself otherwise we have points and you'll see that as I add points here so maybe 40 points for novice 500 points for competent and 5,000 points for novice plus it's adding my point total down here at the bottom it is not taking into account my 50,000 points possible here so you're gonna have to make sure that your rubric adds up to the same number of points as your points possible the percent will take care of all that math for you so for proficient I would get hundred percent and this category is worth one-third of my overall total points of 50k so create this first and then give the points last if using points or a point range point range and percent range do the same thing they allow you to have a category uh, with a variable score choosing as their score that will be the percentage of this overall weight that they will earn for the assignment fill out your point range first and your total of course will be based off of the second text box here if I do 100 points in this column it'll add 100 points to my total score so again if you're going to be using points or a point range fill out the rubric first and then whatever your total ends up being use that total as your overall points possible so here we have our name of the rubric this option here lets us get back to that edit rubric page if I want to I'm not going to so I'll cancel out we can also view it by itself close window and I click on this button to remove it from the list that's okay because test rubric can still be accessed by going to course tools and then rubrics you can have as many rubrics here as you want you could have three five ten doesn't matter but only one can be used for grading all of the others are going to be set to secondary evaluation and you can change that now by mousing over this icon and then clicking on the version you want to use so we need to set this from no to yes but we have two choices with or without the rubric score if you choose without score then you cannot use the rubric 
to grade them and give them feedback because they are not going to have any way to view that score or the feedback. Typically, if you're using a rubric, it's because you want to have an easy way of providing feedback for the assignment. So we really want this to be yes with score pretty much every single time. So here we have the student view of the assignment and the rubric is not visible. And here is that same assignment with the rubric visible and the score is also visible. So they can see the scores and the feedback. The first is visible, but no scores. So here's their attempt. You can see that right now the rubric is here, it's just hiding. If you click on this arrow here, we have the rubric right there. And I can give them overall feedback on the rubric, but I want to give them individual feedback for every single criteria. And I have two ways. We have a link here on the left, or we have the window mode on the right. This link is good for small rubrics. So here we have our proficiencies. We can give them proficient, uh, novice, competent. Because I'm using the percent mode, it's giving the points automatically. And if I want to make this an even number, I can come down here and change the score and give them overall feedback. So I wanted it to show description and then show feedback. So now under each criteria, I can give them feedback on why they got proficient, why they got novice under organization, why they got competent under formatting. But the more complex your rubric is, the more annoying this will be in this kind of long format. So hit cancel and instead go over to the right on this little icon to view the rubric in its own window, just like we did when we were making it. And now you can simply click on the points here and then give them feedback in this matrix. And then of course, overall feedback as well and hit save. And because this rubric is their primary score, not secondary, there is now their score. And then from the student side, what they're going to see is their attempt and then their grade. And in their case, they want to click on this icon in the middle that says view rubric. And it will show them, you know, interesting. So here's a rubric that seems to have no score or comments. It turns out that with my assignment, go to edit, my rubric was set to show without scores, not with scores. So I forgot to set this properly. So I'm going to go to yes with scores and hit submit to save. And there is the rubric with their score and the feedback for each cell. I forgot to show you one feature. And here's our test rubric. And if I go down to also view associated content, that that rubric is no longer attached to any assignment. I tried to go to test rubric and edit, and I can't. These The matrix is locked. All I can do is change the name and the description. So it looks like once you've used this rubric to grade a paper, even once, even if you clear the attempt later, this rubric is now locked. What I've done was I've detached this from the assignment and then I chose copy instead. This made copy of test rubric, which now under here, what I can do is edit where I have the title and description. But now my matrix is once again unlocked and I can add columns and add rows. And we have two buttons here. The levels of achievement lets you reorder these columns here, such as uh, proficient. I can then use these arrows and shift those columns around very easily just by clicking and then moving the arrows. Once I hit submit, you will see that those columns have changed, but the rows also have a problem because if I click on this button, nothing's happening. And that's because when I went to edit the rubric, it made this window larger than my screen. So I can come down here and scroll, but I'm still not seeing it. So instead, I need to actually uh, minimize this and make it into its own tab. Man, this is this is Blackboard being very dumb. And hopefully, come on criteria, you can do it. There it is, finally, at the very bottom of my screen. I can go ahead and move these things in any order that I want and hit submit. The trick is just being able to get to that damn window in the first place. Once I hit submit, the rubric has been saved. It is now attached to any name. And all I did to do that was go to my assignment here, and under the rubrics, I went to add rubric, select, and then I chose my copy. It's not showing right now because it's already part of the assignment, 
Now I have a brand new copy that I've changed because my prior copy got locked.